YouTube. Y'all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just them, all everything. Sex is hell. Host of this Life Game channel, Lamont Tyson. Bring you guys Cody and streaming media Monday through Wednesday. Thursday night, we fire, stick, and chill, except for this Thursday. And weekends is how to help you save money, make money, boy rip offs. Just overall give you life gains and your life going forward in the future. We normally fire, stick, and chill on Thursday, but because of the requests of my subscribers, because I am a man of the people, you've been asking me how can you get games on your fire stick? That's what I'm using. How can you play those games and all that? So tonight, instead of fire stick and chilling with the movies, we're going to fire stick and chill and show you guys the easiest way I know how to present it for you to play games. First things first, I do these a lot for my old school folks. I know my young heads know a whole lot more about technology than them. So I try to present these videos and tutorials in a way that I feel like if the old heads can do it, Young heads definitely can do it. So we're gonna go and get ES File Explorer. So come over here to the app section, scroll down to where it says category, and you're gonna go over here, productivity. There's ES File Explorer. I want you guys to go ahead and download that if you don't already have it, because we're gonna to need to go on Google Drive, put something in there. Then open it on ES File Explorer to get this way to play games, all right? Now I'm going to go ahead and jump on the gaming system. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the Manage Install section of my Fire Stick. And you see what this says? Play Super NES. Yes, I figured out how to do emulators, and it's basically really easy to get started. And we're going to go ahead and click it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're in. And for full disclosure, this is you're not going to be able to run this with just the remote that comes with your Fire Stick. You're gonna have to have one of these gaming controllers. Now, Amazon sells them too, but I got this for $12, and y'all know I'm about saving that money. So, I'm gonna have a link in the description of my video where you can get one of these, so that you can play these games at your leisure, and it makes it really, really simple, all right? So let's go ahead and launch it and show you guys what we're working with. Check this out. It does run a lot of ads, ladies and gentlemen. That's how whoever this developer is gets paid. Skip on out of that. But look at this list. It's everything that was ever done pretty much on NES. I mean, it's all of them. And you can cycle through them by pressing sideways, or you can press up, and it'll cycle through them five at a time, all right? Look at that, American Gladiator, Batman. I mean, all the old school classics you guys can remember, Chess Masters. Matter of fact, I learned how to play chess on this thing through NES, all right? And scrolling up and scrolling up and scrolling up, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into one of these. Show you what it looks like, all right? I'm going to jump into, let me find a good one. What's a good one? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. No, not that one. NBA Jam. Let's jump on that one, all right? So I just click select with this remote, okay? And you see, when you don't have another remote connected, it puts a remote on the screen. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this was a pain. So the way that I was able to get into it, all right, I'm using my REI Bluetooth remote. So I'm gonna turn that on. See, it's connected. And then, I'm going to also turn on this one, all right? Just hold my button, and I'll show you how to connect these at the end of this video, okay? And so, let me show you what happened. I'm pressing start with this, and it does nothing, absolutely nothing. I don't know why, but you've got to start this game with this remote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this one off, all right? So that's disconnected. And so this comes back on the screen. So what I've done with that was using my wireless Bluetooth remote, I took the mouse. And I pressed start with the mouse on this function. All right? And once I got it started with that, I just reconnected this remote. All right? So you see my gamepad remote is in. Do I want to enter my initials? I'm going to click no. And it's just that simple, ladies and gentlemen. 
You can get gaming just like this. You can get on out of there, start gaming, and play whatever you want. All right, now I'm gonna escape on out of this. So you can just go through the list on your own. I mean, everything is in here, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is in here, all right? So now we're gonna jump out of this. I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. We're gonna jump on the computer. Then we're gonna come right back. To get going with playing games on your Fire Stick or Fire device or whatever device you're running, you're gonna to come to this website. Of course, I've got the link in the description box below. You click on it, you wait the five seconds for that ad to scroll, then you'll go right onto the page and you come to this website and you're gonna download their APK from this section right here. All right, and you see it's got a Fire Stick and Android section, Windows, and an Apple PC Mac. Since most of you guys are running a Fire Stick or Android device, I'm, that's the one I'm going to just show you. So you will come to this one, download it. All right, you got it. And from there, we're going to go and put it in our Google Drive. I'm inside the Google Drive. And as always, if you're new to technology or you're some of my old school folks with technology, just go into your Gmail account, come to right here where it's got these bars. You give it a click and you will click on Google Drive. Next thing you're going to do is click on this section right here. You're going to click upload the file and select wherever you put that file. All right. So mine is at my desktop. If for some reason yours doesn't go to desktop, you guys can just click on downloads in this section right here, okay? So click OK. It is uploaded, and we're gonna go right on back to the sexy as hell Jumbotron, finish this video off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the sexy as hell Jumbotron. I've got my ES File Explorer open, I'm clicking on it. There's the app that we just put into our Google Drive, you give it a click, okay? Yes, click down one, click over, install it. You want to go ahead and install. Once you're done, go ahead and open. At this section, ladies and gentlemen, depending upon what you have on your device, whether you have SPMC or Kodi or both, just select which device you want to use for different products and different things to go to that one. So I'm picking Kodi on mine. All right. We're in here, ladies and gentlemen, and once you get this APK, there are tons of stuff you can do with this APK, all right? It's got community builds, it's got Kodi add-on. I mean, this is your one-stop shop for everything, but for what we're doing with the games, you're gonna to come to Android Apps, and, and you just scroll over. The one I showed you guys was this one, Super NES. So I'm gonna also show you guys how to get Nintendo, so we're gonna go ahead and click the Nintendo one. Full disclosure, these downloads are going to take a minute. This is a lot of content, all right? A lot of content. So scroll on down, click install, okay? App is installed. Now you want to go ahead and open. You're going to have to install this as well, ladies and gentlemen. So you click on down, install. Once that's done, you escape out of this screen, okay? All right? You're going to come back to your manage install application. You can click on that. And then scroll down till you see Play NES. Give it a click. Launch application. From here, it's got to download all the assets connected with the game. This part is going to take probably three to four to five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Then we're going to come back when it's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it downloaded all the assets, it is in there. They don't have the screen images up for it, but you've got everything you need now to start playing games. Easiest way I could find to do it is show you guys, give you that life game with game playing, make it really, really simple. So there you have it. Get your game on now, ladies and gentlemen. Set up any gaming controller that's not Amazon associated. You're going to come over here to settings. Right here where it says controllers and Bluetooth. You can click, scroll down to where it says other Bluetooth devices. So if it's not an Amazon Bluetooth game controller, you come here. Normally you will go here for Amazon, but this one is not an Amazon version. This is a cheaper version. So you come here, give it a click. 
Come so here and ask Blue to give a click with this remote. And then with your gaming remote, just hold the home button. Then the name of the controller is going to pop up up here. Go ahead and select it. And that will get this remote controller to run and function the way you want it. All right. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself that life game. Always check that viewer description box below my video. I've got the links to get that APK, links to get those remotes. Do business with me. Do business with my affiliates. Check out my past videos so you can see what I'm all about, trying to help you guys make those life games. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.